Yes. Hello. If I can just get this watch. Never mind. Like I bother keeping count of how long I've been on the air. How long I've been on the air? How long I've been recording video? Whatever. Thank God it's Friday. If you wait long enough, it's prime time by the time I even start, so. Uh, why am I bothering? Okay. I'm still not well. I don't consider myself sick anymore, but um, I still have a terrible voice. <laughs> I'm still coughing, still generating very interesting mucus through my nose. Uh, I want you to know I did invest in a brand new box of Stash Licorice Spice. This is what it looks like in 2012. Just to show you, it's got an expiration date of 2014. So you know it's fresh, I guess. It's ironic because I'd actually placed an order to Stash uh, earlier before I felt really, really sick. N didn't think to get any licorice spice, but that order actually arrived in the PO box today. Would you like to see what I got? I'll bet you are dying to know. Here's a sampler. That's always fun. Here's my favorite. An English breakfast. Another 30 bags. Turns out they don't have Irish anymore. They have super Irish. I don't know what that means. Probably means I'm going to get beaten when I drink it. This is Mellow Moments. It sounded nice. Since I seem to be collecting a lot of chamomiles, I get all their different kind of blendy blends. Peach didn't have any. And a new kind of lemon, Meyer lemon, named after Oscar Meyer. I think. I don't know. So there, there's another, what is that? 20? Is that 20 or 10? That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, 100, 100 tea bags. That's got to be like a 20 year supply right there. I had two of these already today, though. Like I said, they really help for some reason. I'm sure that reason is scientifically proven from somebody. Now feeling at least well enough to try water without breaking into coughing or sore throats or anything. You'll also be glad to know I invested in a new 99 cent bag of 30 eucalyptus drops. Again, to show that this is new. Notice the expiration date is in the future and not in the past. September 2013. The bag looks exactly the same though, doesn't it? I got that last bag what, four or five years ago? I don't know. Fortunately, I wrote about it on the W, so you can actually go find out, because I log all this stuff, all this minutiae, so that someday someone can come back and reconstruct my life from beginning to end and pinpoint the exact point where things went so wrong that I became this obsessive, compulsive mess of a human being. Why don't I sit down? I moved the camera a bit. There was confusion about some of the characters living up there, up there on the cabinet. And I think the one that you think is Hamtaro, this guy way over here, this is Meryl from Pokemon. We had a dynamite store in the Great Mall in Milpitas that had Japanese imports. They were just insanely cheap because of the exchange rate at the time. So that's how I ended up collecting some of these, a lot of these things. Boy, this guy is really dusty. But he's kind of lived with me at work since I bought him. That was back in San Jose, and that was probably uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. Hmm. We're all so much older now, and yet I still have all this kid stuff. Um... Little bobblehead is right here, right next to Crunch. And I think that answers all the questions that people were asking me about that stuff. Um, via the W and via, via telephone. That doesn't count, does it? You can't read that one. You'll just have to assume our uh, 
Believe me when I tell you that it happened. Anyway, week is over. I can just get my butt out of here. I want to give a shout out to um, to Rosie who subscribed and also chatted me up on Facebook last night. Uh, a man who had a very positive influence on my life in high school, even though he was only one grade ahead of me. But he was a guy who set an example I wanted to follow and hopefully follow to this day. Although he is living a much better life. Uh, I envy you. I would like to have your life, but only for about a week. I think I might get bored. Don't tell anybody. But I will uh, plug his fishing site as soon as I remember what it is. No, I don't have it in front of me. Of course not. I never have this stuff loaded up in time. Anyway, I don't know what we're calling you now, though. Uh, I know what we called you in high school, but I, going from your Facebook name, I suspect you may not be going by that name anymore, so I'm not going to use it until I know for sure. And um, I'll probably forget to ask you otherwise. So if you happen to see this video, you can let me know. Or you can just keep it mysterious and suspenseful. So we all need that mystery and suspense in our life. You may have noticed, much to Phil's chagrin, I'm wearing the Packers gear. It feels even larger than normal because I haven't eaten all week. I may test the theory that Cheetos can help cure the cold, common cold, when I get home. I don't know. We'll see if there are Cheetos in the house. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to the Packers game. That's on Sunday, right? Uh, I want to give you some predictions. I do think the 49ers can beat the Saints, so I'm going to pick them. I don't have a favorite for who the Packers will play. Obviously, the Packers are going to beat the Giants. We don't even have to talk about that. I don't have a favorite, though, between whether we play 49ers or whether we play the Saints, because beating the Saints, I don't think we played the 49ers this year. So I guess that'll be an interesting game because we haven't seen it before, but I just think both of those teams are quite beatable at Lambeau Field. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, AFC side, uh, I hate picking against Tebow now, but I'm going to do it again. I can't see the Patriots losing, especially at home. So i got to pick the Patriots. I don't know if I'll be even watching that game. I may be watching uh, one of my favorite local bands uh, on their release show tomorrow. So I am going to go out if it kills me. PBR, also good for the common cold, we will find out. Uh, the other game, Texas Texans at Ravens. I don't care. Hey, remember that Raven who killed a guy? He's still playing, right? I guess I'll pick the Ravens because they're at home. It's four home teams. Of course, that's okay. Four home teams won last week. So we'll go with that and we'll see what... Uh, Interesting things happen. I love the playoffs. It is the best weekends of the year where you can just sit there and there's just one game on, but it's usually a good game. And if not, you can bitch about it on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Follow me at CRZ. If you don't know what the hashtags are, look them up. That is it. I've already done eight and a half minutes. If I did not get to your question, I have probably forgotten it, so you're going to have to ask me again. We will start fresh next week with another set of crappy videos, and hopefully an even longer playoff beard because the Packers will not have lost. Thank you so much for continuing to watch this, all 50 of you, however many there are. Again, thanks to Rosie for subscribing. Uh, I got another subscriber anonymously. Thank you to you. I hope all of you who are subscribing are also watching. We shall see. Again, comments, questions, greatly appreciated. Pick your favorite social media and find me there and pull on my hair until I answer. I love you guys. I'll see you next week.